What's up everybody? So I wanted to clear up some confusion on as is. This is a conversation that I've had quite a bit recently, I'm not sure why, um, both on the buyer side and on the listing side. Uh, and that's as is, which realistically doesn't mean much. Um, especially because in this marketplace, at least in Connecticut, I don't know about the rest of the country, um, all as is means is that those seller isn't warrantying the condition of the property, which means if you take it as is, after the fact, you can't come back and sue me if something breaks in it. But typically, in an offer, a buyer is saying, look, we're gonna, we're gonna buy this home contingent to a satisfactory inspection. So if items come up in the inspection that weren't disclosed up front, you don't have to just accept that. You can walk away from the deal. Now, if the seller's motivated to sell, they can come to the negotiation tables and pony up and come to a conclusion with you, or they can tell you, too bad, we're not fixing it, but now it's a material fact that they have to disclose to any new buyers coming along, right? Which, through that disclosure, is gonna lower the value of the property up front, so you might as well negotiate with the people and the offer that you have. Um, and when you advertise a listing as is, it immediately puts something in the buyer's brain that there's something wrong with the house. So it's really not in your best interest to advertise the home that way. So um, if you found this video useful, you know, hit the like button, comment below, ask me any questions. You know, if you want to hear some other you know, interesting facts about real estate or things that you didn't know, you know, add it in the comments with questions. I'll be happy to address them in future videos.